you may possibly have been making efforts at promoting your articles for maximum citations. I want to talk about some steps you really need to take. They are basic steps that they, you are expected to take, especially when you are aiming at promoting your, your publications and gathering for yourself citations. You are welcome to my channel. Thank you for visiting. Kindly subscribe for more videos like this. Now, the first thing you want to do is you want to choose the right journal. Choosing a reputable and well-indexed journal is very crucial when it comes to maximizing the visibility and, cit and citations of your research. And how you do this is that you identify journals that are in, in your field. I impact factor. That's the first thing you want to ensure you do. Okay. And how do you want to even see, oh yeah, okay. You, you, you've talked about me having, oh, going through a journal that has I impact factor. Okay, how do I even get to know them? Now you want to ask, how do I even choose the right and credible journal? Be being one of the crucial steps, you know, in, in publication process, how do I even choose one? Consider the scope and focus of the journal. Make sure it aligns with your proposed uh, article. Make sure that the journal you are considering publish articles in your field of study. And that's a focus that aligns with your research. You can check their reputation and high impact to determine their credibility because this will help in the overall performance of your article. Okay, you can use tools like Web of Science, you can use Scopus to find out the impact factor, review the editorial board, and the peer review process of that very journal, the qualification and the expertise of those editorial boards. You need to check the journal's indexing and database. Okay, check if the journal is indexed in reputable databases like Web of Science, Scopus, or PubMed. Okay, make sure you do that, and this can help you to ensure that your article is more visible and accessible to readers. Look at the publication frequency. You know, some 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 publishers they, they they publish today. After that, you don't get to this year. You don't get to see any publication from them again. No, that's not what you are talking about. Make sure you look out for journals that publish very frequently. Find out how often they publish, and the tone turn around time for publication, okay? This will help you to plan your publication schedule and ensure that your research is published in a timely manner. Review their copyright policies as well, please do. That's very crucial. By taking these steps, you'll be able to choose the right and credible journal. And that's just one of the steps. So, you know, I was talking about the steps to take. That's number one. The second one is you optimize your article for search engines. By that optimization, I mean that you should make sure that your article is optimized for search engines by using relevant keywords and including a clear and concise abstract. In a situation where you are, you are coming up with an article and the keywords in those articles, for instance, this very one that I have in my front is cybercrime. It's a direct negative effect on Nigerian youths and the society at large. So possible solution. So the keywords here, is cybercrime. The second one is Nigerian youths. And the last one from, from here is the possible solutions. Cybercrime, effects of it on Nigerian youths and possible solutions. So when I'm coming up with my abstract, these keywords, they are to be very prominent. They are not to be abused anyway. They are to be prominent in my explanations, in the body of the work, in the literature review. It helps in optimizing your article for search engines. When potential readers go on Google to solve the net, the Google crawler can easily find articles around these keywords and then boom, yours will be there as well, okay? The next thing is that you share your articles on, on social media. I've done a video that borders on social media platform where you can promote your article, such as Twitter, LinkedIn, ResearchGate, Academia, using the relevant tags, especially on Twitter and engaging with other researchers in your field. You can please check my description, the description below. There is a video made specifically for that. The next, the next thing to do, as I've done that, is collaborating with other researchers. You can especially use the tool on Mendeley, and you can use the tool, you can use the feature available on, on Research Kit as well to get this done. Collaborate with other researchers. This will help you to increase the feasibility and impact of your research. You can, you can co-author papers, contribute to edited, and when you are co-authoring paper, please, co-author with people of like mind. Not that you will co-author with people who are going to be like a, a casualty, so to say, on you. You are making effort at promoting your work while they are sleeping. And at the end of the day, the rewards for the promotion goes to every, okay, every author, okay? So you are, you are making efforts to promote on several platforms, but these other co-authors, they are doing nothing, okay? So that's the reason I said like-mind authors, okay? Collaborate with them, co-author with them, okay? This is one way to help yourself as well. Network with your colleagues, attend conferences and workshops in your field, okay? This can help you build relationship with other researchers and potentially 
they will lead to, to, will lead to collaborations and citations. Another thing that I want to talk about is exploring YouTube. This is a powerful tool we are really not been exploring as authors. You could sit at the comfort of your zone, then uh, of, of your homes, then create a video abstract of your article. Then to, this will help you to promote and promote it on social media and other platforms. Just sit down, it could just be five minutes video abstract of your article. This video can be a powerful tool for reaching a wider audience. Put it on, on the YouTube. From that, people get to know about it. Then you put the link of the main article there. People get to read about it. Okay. After reading about it, then boom, you are increasing your citation. Another thing is that you could use citation, I mean, citation tracking tools such as Google Scholar, Web of Science, Scopus to track the citations of your article. This is very fundamental because I've done some work for some academics. They, they, they have when they started their publication, their name was XYZ. When they were publishing in another journal, their names were turned to ZXY. When they, make, when they were making another publication, their names were changed to XY. So all this inconsistency, they have their negative impact on your citations. Okay, Be consistent in the usage of your nomenclature, in the usage of your name and all that. Okay, and when you're doing that, it helps your citation tracking tool to be able to pull all your citations all in, in, in place and have you accorded the respect you deserve. Okay, and you could use Google Scholar, you could use Web of Science or Scopus to track all those citations. This will help you to identify which articles are citing your research and potentially lead to further collaborations. In a situation where you realize that you have 10 publications, 20, 30, or 40 publications, and you realize that dominantly you there, there, is, there is a particular author that has been citing your work, oh, wow, that's a very green light for you there. You collaborate with such an author because you are having a like mind in terms of area of study, okay? Your fields are similar. Okay, by following these basic steps, I'm, I'm very sure it will help you in building or increasing the feasibility and the impact of your research and potentially attracting more citations. Thank you. Kindly please subscribe for more videos like this.